Day three, sight. What is this, four? The fourth episode? Yeah, I think it's the fourth episode. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain Fresh. How y'all doing? Um, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, you know what I mean? Today I wanted to talk to you real quick about mm, gun owners, guys that have guns. Um, I hear a lot of guys talk about guns, but I'll never hear anybody talk about what happens if someone breaks in. Um... You can see I live in a townhouse, okay? So my reaction time in this house is not a lot, you know? So you figure from here to the door, that's the front door. It's about 15, 20 feet if I back all the way into the kitchen. So you got to know, you got to know your house. So the guy comes in, comes in through this front door. He decides to go up here. Now, if I don't catch him when he goes up here, I have to be careful. So let's say I got my gun. I'm coming up here. Now, let's say he's at the top of the steps. I can't just rip bullets at him because behind this wall is my kids. So you got to be very careful. So what I'd have to do is, is I'd have to come up here with him, and then I could probably shoot here. I shoot a little bit here. That's about it. And then a little bit here. But I can't shoot here. See what I'm saying? Kids room, kids room. So you got to be careful. You got to be careful when a person comes in. That's why I tell people you should have buckshot. Get you a shotgun. And that way you can take care of business. So be safe out there, but know your house. You should be able to know your house. Even in the dark, you should turn your lights out. You should know where your furniture's at. Know where everything, excuse me, know where everything is at because when the, if the time does come, hopefully it never happens, but if it does, you'll be ready. Go through your house, you know, have your situation. See, now, here, this situation is different. So let's say I'm up here. Let's say I'm upstairs, and he comes down through my basement. Now you're talking about downward shooting, so... I don't have a problem. I shoot everything down there. I don't care. So what I would do is, and have a plan. A lot of people don't have a plan. What I would do is, I would stand right here, probably with the lights out, more on, I don't know, probably with the lights out, because I can see I'd probably have a little tiny flashlight. I would call 911. I'd drop the phone down right here. I'd put it on speaker, and then I would tell the guy, hey, I got a gun, you better leave. That way, if he leaves, cool. If he doesn't, he's still coming. And it, you, when he comes up them steps, you let him have it. But that's that's safety. I think, I think people really need to understand angles in the house where they can shoot. Because you have to understand if you have loved ones or kids, relative, you need to know where they're at if you're going to start bucking off in the house. Because... You know, buckshot and bullets is totally different. Bullets is going through drywall like a champion. Now, on this side of my house, I can shoot because there's a brick. See, I live in a townhouse, so there's brick. There's a brick wall in between, so it, the bullets won't go through. All right? Be easy. I'll talk some more about it. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. Um, check my podcast out, Trey and Soul Crew. Let's do it. Let's follow the movement. I believe in y'all, man. Peace and be safe.